Like Russell, I have recently retired, but I have not yet unlearned how to tie a necktie. Um, <laughs> so, um, in the course of my career, I helped, I, I was fortunate to be able to be part of uh, the creation of Cal State Channel Islands, um, had a lot of opportunities, but a couple of the things that uh, I view as my greatest accomplishments or that I take the greatest uh, pleasure in are, are a couple of things that Russell and I have worked on. The first being the National Park class. Uh, about 10 years ago, um, Don Rodriguez, Russell, and I uh, began teaching an interdisciplinary undergraduate class on national parks. And um, not just being a, a sort of history or background on national parks, we're, we're really trying to challenge students to think differently about parks uh, and have a different understanding about parks. And for some of those students, uh, it was that they had no experience with national parks. They would never visited one before the class. Um, we fixed that. Uh, they really, national parks were really not part of their thinking. Others um, came from a specific disciplinary background, so that parks were about X resource. Um, so we challenged them to think about the, the variety of things that uh, parks offer to people, uh, and also to, to think about the fact that parks are social institutions and that they provide a social, an, an important social uh, goal. Uh, so in the course of this class, we challenged our students uh, to, rather than have a final exam, they had a final project designed to engage other college students in an activity involving a national park. And I think some of those experiences have actually been shared uh, elsewhere in the park system. Um, I'm pleased to say that among uh, the alums of our class, we have a number of park service employees now. Um, so that was really exciting. But in the course of the class, so over the years, Russell would keep saying, gee, you know, we need to have more outside research and we need to find ways to, to more fully engage the university uh, in the park. And about, uh, it was 2012, uh, we finally signed a, a memo of understanding between Cal State Channel Islands and, and the park uh, to create a research station on Santa Rosa Island. And at that point, I had several decades of, of experience in the state university system and thought that I was the master of managing bureaucracy and, and learned that Actually, the State University has nothing on the park service <laughs> when it comes to that. But despite, uh, despite those opportunities for bureaucratic interaction, uh, we were able to renovate uh, facilities and uh, start the research station. Uh, and in the course, since, since its uh, inception, we've had uh, dozens of different institutions come to do research at the station. We've had hundreds of classes from K-12 through university. Thousands of students uh, spend time on the island. Um, we've had, that's provided the park an opportunity to better understand the resources that are there uh, and to add to published knowledge about, about those resources. But more important than that, uh, it's exposed students who otherwise wouldn't have been in a national park. We had students intentionally from disciplines that aren't the usual suspects, computer science, art, uh, literature, as well as, as uh, biology, environmental science, geology, so forth, um, came to, to Santa Rosa Island. Uh, and in the course of that, found that the park, and, and many of these students are first generation, had no experience, had never been anywhere, that they were out of cell phone range, had never seen the Milky Way, um, found that there was actually a place for them there. And more than that, they found that there was a role for them there. Um, so those experiences for some of those students change their personal and professional trajectories. And so for that, I want to thank you.